<laughs> Welcome back to this week. Tilly's already left the video. <laughs> she's, she's like, oh no, not another blooming one. <laughs> Welcome back to an actual video. It has been a very long time. Oh well, I guess we'll just do the intro alone. My horses do love me, really. I thought we would do a video that you guys have been requesting for a very long time now, and that is a updated Meet the Horses video in the high quality that is my iPhone. Uh, <laughs> we've seen Tilly briefly. <laughs> So I guess we'll start with her and just kind of make our way round. We have 24 horses now. Yes, we are insane. And yeah, I just thought I would take you guys round all of them and kind of update you on who is who and uh, what our plans are with them and stuff, I guess. And yeah, hopefully then you'll have somewhat of a clue as to who is who on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> the mare face. <laughs> so this is Tilly guys. I bought Tilly as a project three years ago was it or something? I don't even know. I don't even I can't even remember my own name anymore to be honest. But as you can see we never got round to selling her. The girl I actually bought her off told me do not keep this horse any more than a month or else you'll fall in love and never sell her. And here we are three years later. <laughs> so Tilly is kind of like my fun all-rounder type of horse. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I do a bit of dressage with her and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of like low-level eventing and basically just having fun with her. She's seven years old. <laughs> to be my show jumper and very, very shortly after I got Carly she we, well we discovered she had grade four ulcers um, so she was out for almost a year because they were incredibly severe and her stomach and all her intestines and everything were incredibly scarred we finally got her back into work and it's just been like a really slow journey of kind of getting her back into work and getting her out to shows but this year she's kind of come into her own I'm gonna touch work because <laughs> because I jinx myself constantly. She's now jumping up to newcomer level and we've popped a few big offences at home but my ambitions have kind of changed since like getting Carly and you know over the last few years I've kind of stepped down from competing like Evie and Nero around higher level and I'm kind of happy with her now and I think my main goal in the future would be to get her up to maybe like fox hunter level. I think I'd be really happy with her at that. Again she's leaving, they all hate me. <laughs> they hate me. But yeah, she has a home for life here with us. Um, she's been through a lot in her past, uh, which I won't go into, but um, yeah, she's a lovely mare and she's really come out of her shell over the last couple of years as well. And so I'm never gonna sell her basically. She's my baby and uh, she has a home for life here with us. So let's move on to the others. <laughs> so here is my beautiful mother-daughter duo. This is Evie, who you guys have met before in my previous um, Meet the Horses video. And Blue, of course, her stepson, because Harry has completely disowned him. Um, <laughs> so I won't go too much into Evie. She's retired now. She was, um, she's an ex-show jumper of mine. And yeah, she has a home for life here with us. She's done a lot for me in the past and I absolutely adore her. And this is her gorgeous baby Poppy and Blue is trying to really steal the limelight here. Here's my beautiful boy Blue as well by the way. Um, <laughs> so Blue is two years old now and Poppy is a yearling. They're very upset because it's raining and they're wusses. Typically it's been gorgeous all day. As soon as I'm like, I'm gonna film a video, the heavens are just like <laughs> Oh here's Evie, she's come back for more. Um, but yeah Evie is, I want to say 15 years old now. 
and uh, his blue. He's two. He is by Konthagos out of Harry, who is a pot blue mare. And you guys will remember probably from my Meet the Meet Blue, Meet the World Blue video. Um, and uh, also from the Trying to Get My Mares in Fall video. That was kind of where we first met Blue on that little sonogram thing um, <laughs> where I bawled my eyes out. So this is the result. He's like a big dog. Um, <laughs> I don't know how good he's going to be to back. He is better behaved than his mum, but he's just kind of dopey. And uh, yeah, he's basically just a big dog, aren't you? Hey. And he loves scratches. <laughs> the garlic click. <laughs> but yeah, Poppy is a year old and she is out of Evie, this lovely one here, who was very, very fat and very relieved to get her out. Um, <laughs> and Poppy is um, by, um, oh my goodness, I don't even. He wants his I'm scratchies! Coming. I'm coming! You think he's going to be hard to back? <laughs> um, yeah, so Poppy is... I can't even remember who she's by, but her grandsire is Emerald. It will come back to me. Who the heck is... Who is she by? I don't even remember! Pom! Pom are all to muse! <laughs> My brain is gone, guys. I should not be filming a video today, but hey-ho! The boy needs a scratch. <laughs> This is what I mean by the fact that he is just a dope. So yeah, this is Blue and Poppy and Evie, and we will go meet my other gorgeous Fowley now, um, who's Skippy. And he is almost the same size as these guys, even though he is a couple of months younger than Poppy. Um, he was our last fall and he was our surprise fall. So we shall go meet him now, and Blue's going to be very upset that I leave. Watch his reaction now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go. You for a kissy? Give me a kiss. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> this is the sweet boy. This is the sweetie pie. This is Skippy. <laughs> He's coming to say hello to you guys. Um. Oh, he'll probably run away now because Auntie Harry is. Yeah. She's <laughs> Auntie Harry is coming through. Oh god, she's gonna kill the camera woman. <laughs> oh Harry! Leave them alone! Harry, you miserable thing! Oi! Oi! Oh she's a grumpy thing. There's Moo! <laughs> Harry God! Dear God, Moo is in season, if you could tell there. Like her just spraying everywhere as she runs around. Nova is very interested in that. <laughs> He's like, whoa, sexy lady, come back over here. So that over there is Skippy. And uh, he was our third and final foal. So if you watched my trying to get my mares in foals video back in 2019, um, you would have seen that we tried to get Madge in foal and we failed twice with her. We actually tried secretly the following year and failed again early on in the year and we finally gave it one more attempt on advice our vet with a local do you mind <laughs> with a more local stallion who is known for his fertility and has actually won awards for his fertility um so we tried finally again with him and she actually took and we decided because Madge had been quite inconsistent with breeding and everything in the past that we didn't want to jinx it by announcing it to all of you guys because we didn't feel completely <laughs> we didn't feel completely confident that she would carry the term and things um, just because of how she'd been in the past so we decided to keep it a secret and she finally had Pickle, who has come to say hi to you guys kiss, now, kiss. Um, on July the 2nd um, of 2021. So a couple of months after Poppy was born and we finally introduced him on YouTube as a surprise. I will link that video down in the description below if you haven't seen it yet. Oh Pickle! <laughs> Why is he laying? What is wrong with you? 
That's not a good place. What's happening in the background? What is going on? What is going on if my horse is normal? Look at them all. Anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Is it because it's just rain and they all want to roll in the dirt? Evie, don't kick your child! Anyway, here are Mist and Tiny, who have decided to spontaneously escape and come in with Harry and the rest of the gang. Um, so yeah, they shouldn't be in here, but they are. <laughs> So yeah, this, I'll get to this side because Tiny likes me. Mist is very nervy of literally everyone in the kitchen. So this is Tiny and this is Mist. And um, they were my Christmas present in 2019 because my parents decided that I didn't have enough Shetlands. <laughs> but we adore them. You may have seen them in the Shetland Games videos. And uh, yeah, they all love to jump and have a good time. So this is Nova, the first horse of the day that actually wants to be around me. <laughs> um, and Nova is 18 now, and um, some of you guys will actually recognize him. His show name is Casanova007, which is very iconic because, you know, and very um, suited to him because he is a Casanova. He's a ladies' man. He was my show jumper. I jumped him up to 130, and then I actually gave him to a friend in Coventry. She um, competed him for a couple of years and then gave him to a friend of hers um, to continue competing but at a lower level. Eventually she couldn't keep him anymore so they got back in touch with me and we were more than happy to have him back home with us. So he is back now um, and enjoying his life out in the field. Um, he does ride a bit, but he's had some time off recently. He lost weight coming out of the winter because um, he was actually scheduled to have a tooth out. So he had six weeks off in which he lost the muscle and the weight because we were coming out of winter. And, uh, and then it turns out he didn't actually need the tooth out. So that was just lovely. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's Nova. And he is chilling and loving life. So this is Bobby guys and uh, we've also had Bobby for three years now. 2019 was a really busy year. <laughs> uh, we bought Bobby from a sale room. He is um, full Connie, um, even though he doesn't look like it. Most people think he's like a cob because he's so fat. <laughs> but he is coming back into work. He's in a bit of a starvation field at the moment. There's hardly any grass on it. Supposed to be coming back into work very shortly, but <laughs> alas, Dottie decided that was not going to be the case. So um, yeah, he'll be definitely back in work in the next couple of weeks. Um, he hasn't been off for any particular reason. It's mainly just been a lack of time. Um, he is also seven years old. And uh, yeah, he's a very nervy boy. He's a nervy character, but he's also incredibly sweet. And it's surprising because on the floor, like he's very wary and nervy of you, no matter how well he knows you. But then you get on him and he's literally bombproof. Um, <laughs> which Sarah behind the camera knows as well. Um, because she got on him when he was four just after I backed him and uh, yeah like a jump wing fell down in his face and he literally just turned around and was like oh that was scary <laughs> and he's back again he loves us really just from a distance like initially we were like maybe he's been abused in his past but I don't even think he has I think he's just a massive wuss I... If you want to see a, a, a video tutorial on how to um, abolish trust in your horse in less than five seconds. <laughs> Are you ready? Bobby! <laughs> I'm sorry! Bobby! Oh. <laughs> the first horse to like me of the day and I do that! There is a horse that loves me more than life itself, okay? well today guys so over there in the distance it's a wild wiggle many have sighted him in the wild <laughs> his field safe head collar as all wild horses wear uh, he's just he's 
Ziggy. He's always been this way. He does allow you to catch him, but only for treats um, because he loves treats more than us, but that's understandable. I do as well. Um, <laughs> Ziggy was my one of my pony show jumpers who I competed alongside Nero. Yeah, we jumped up to like 125, 130, and, uh, and then he was actually sold for six months at the end of my last year. It did not work out, so we got him back. And uh, yeah, he's been here ever since. He was in work for a couple of years, competed as a horse, and then in 2018, I think he retired and has been a wild wiggle ever since. <laughs> he does love us, really. He actually gives kisses and stuff. He's very sweet, but he doesn't like to be approached out in the field unless you have offerings. So, <laughs> so that's Siggy. This is Nero, <laughs> who I'm assuming if you follow me, most of you guys will probably know Nero. Yeah, well, I got Nero in 2014, so this September we will have had him eight years, which is insane. He is now 22 years old, and I competed him up to like JA tracks on ponies, which is like up to 145 technically. I don't know whether they were or not, but still. Um, <laughs> he then competed as a horse for a few years, and one of our favourite things we did when we were on horses was the bareback challenge at Bury Farm, which he absolutely adored. Um, he loves the crowd, so whenever anyone cheers for him or anything, he just books and gets very exuberant and excitable. He's literally my best, my best friend. Sorry, Sarah. Thanks. <laughs> um, he is 14'1, I get a lot of questions about his height all the time, he's actually 14'1 but he's kind of smaller because he's always had a very dippy back, like people think it's just because he's older but he has always had quite a significantly dipped back, um, but his withers are really high, so he's 14'1 to his withers, so I'm assuming he's probably about 14 hands really. But yeah, this is my bean, he's currently raving living out with the rest of the horses, which is great at the minute because Dot has decided to murder my arm. Um, <laughs> meet Dottie in a moment and uh, you guys will get to see the menace in person. And he is like happily semi-retired now and he goes on beach rides and hacks out and stuff and he just means the absolute world to me and I get asked a lot of whether he could jump again and stuff and technically he's been given the all clear to jump um, but there's just no point like he means too much to me and I'd rather have many years of just hacking him and letting him have fun because he adores riding and rather let him do that for many years to come than jump him a couple of times and risk that he'd do the same injury or worse and you know he either never be able to ridden, be ridden again or worse even then but it's just not worth it and uh yeah i want him to live a happy life and not many ja ponies get to retire properly and live out a full retirement um and it makes me really happy that he's already had like four years of that so uh <laughs> yeah my bean and I love my bean very much. <laughs> Okay. They come across because they're like, you got food? And then I'm like, no, I don't have food today. And they're like, oh, sorry, bye. Thank you, Mickey's. Wow, thank you very much. Uh, it means like no one else gets attention but me. <laughs> you guys will probably know Bob very well. Um, he is actually who the account is named after. Bob has been retired for almost the same amount of time we've had Nero because Bob retired and then we got Neen, which they were supposed to go out and compete together. Like we'd already confirmed we were having Nero and then like literally the week we were getting Nero, he decided to just try and murder himself, I guess. Like <laughs> on the lunge before this was all fields like this, um, it was just like one big field and then there were a couple over there and so he was on the lunge in the field and then he spooked and broke free and jumped through the other fences that we had and actually like scraped his top and yeah they came to the conclusion at the vets in the end that his immune system was attacking the hock joint itself so that was the reason it never fully healed enough for him to come back into work we rode a couple of times over the years off the vets obviously advice and things he never came sound enough to actually do anything major so he is just retired now and he is my mini beans field companion peachy bum <laughs> So he is living his life out with Neen at the minute um, and next summer
summer. Hopefully, if they're both all still well and good, they're going to join the foals and go out with the foals. Yeah, that's the plan. So he's basically just a glorified field companion. And he has been a very good field companion over the years. He's kept everyone company, including Harry, which I'm still sorry about Bob. I know she's just awful. Yeah, anyway, that's Bob and Nero. So we shall go and meet the Shettys. Oh, this is Dotty. So Dotty, this is what you did the other day. Yes, yes you did. She had an argument with Rue, who, this, this is Rue. <laughs> um, so she had an argument with Rue and decided instead of kicking Rue, she was gonna kick me square in the center of my hand, which was just lovely. I had to hold a brave face because we had small children around. This is Macy, who's my best girl. He's so cute. <laughs> and this is Tinny and Tiffin. And they are a small herd. They've been on a starvation paddock recently because Shetlands are obviously so prone to laminitis and stuff through the summer so we have to keep them all nice and safe um, from Lammy um, but they're moving over into a different field this week and I'm going to bring Diddy and Dolly over here because Dolly has like become a balloon and there's a little bit of hobbly on her feet um so my farrier thinks she's maybe got a tiny bit of very mild laminitis so i thought these guys are fine they can go across and enjoy a week or two in the they're not grassy grassy fields but they're like more grass than this <laughs> so they could go over there for a couple of weeks and diddy and dolly can come over here they do get hay and haylage twice a day and they have a lovely balancer provided by blue chip obviously if you have shetlands you'll know that this is summer for shetlands if you want to keep them healthy um <laughs> and in winter they have access to pretty much go wherever they want to go um so they they just wander wherever but there's much less sugar in the grass in the winter this is nice <laughs> So finally, the final four we're going to meet today. This is Sammy. So, um, Sammy, we. Oh, do you not pretend you don't love me. I've had enough of horses pretending they don't love me today. Literally, this pony is so affectionate to me, and as soon as we roll the camera, she's like, no, I don't like you. <laughs> so, this is Sammy, or uh, Samuel, as I like to call him. Oh, he's going to go get yeah, Larry. He's like, shut up, Larry. <laughs> And uh, Sammy is 24 years old and he is a Welsh A. Yeah, we bought him as um, part of my newest business venture. Also obviously part of the family, he's never going anywhere. He is an ex-riding school pony and I have mentioned on a live recently kind of what I'm going to be doing in the future. Um, we're going to be doing a few riding lessons and mainly pony parties for kids, which I'm so excited about. Yeah, Sammy's going to be a bit of a part of that and uh, he'll only be worked like once a day. That's a huge thing for us doing like a, a small private riding school kind of thing like riding school I feel like it just immediately insinuates that the ponies are worked like 24 7 several times a day um, and there's like tons of horses this is going to be a very private very small riding school there's only going to be a few horses that we're using they'll only get worked once a day and they'll get like one to two days off a week depending on what pony parties we have as well the most they'll work is six days a week once a day and um, it'll be broken up into like normal routines for them so they'll have like hacking days and schooling days and jumping days um obviously sammy won't probably jump if it, anything he'll jump like a cross pole or something but he's mainly for the lead rein kids anyway so the most that he would do is like trot over like a cross pole on hold one so <laughs> so i know some people will be like 24 should he be jumping like he's not gonna be jumping <laughs> but yeah that's like our new business venture which is kind of in the works now so the other team member we need to meet for that is the lovely Minnie, who um, you guys might recognize. So this is Minnie, and um, me and Sarah, who's behind the camera, actually bought Minnie together when she was, I think she, she was either just rising four or just turned four. We worked her together, she was a project, and that was also in 2019. Jesus Christ, what was 2019? Every horse we bought is like 2019. Oh, we had another one as well. We did. <laughs> And if, had we known back then we were going to do the pony parties and things, we'd have never have sold her. But I'm very glad we did because um, she's had the most fantastic couple of years with like the loveliest family in the world. They've absolutely adored her. But sadly for like personal circumstances that I won't go into, they could no longer keep her. They very kindly messaged me and asked if we'd be interested in having her back, uh, which was something it was... Do you mind? 
<laughs> it was something me and Sarah behind the camera had also actually been talking about recently like oh what a shame Minnie would have been perfect for like what we've got planned I have to have her back if the opportunity ever arose and then all of a sudden there was the opportunity uh, we were not prepared whatsoever but of course we said yes because She's mini and uh, she's just brilliant. Um, even when we sold her as a four year old, like she was so, so safe. They are becoming friends, <laughs> which is very cute. Look at his tail. I should have brought scissors with me. It's on the floor. <laughs> this is the potato who is very fat. This is why they're coming across it. Is there a sheet behind me? There is, isn't there? <laughs> Larry's our old sheep who refuses to go with the other sheep because he thinks he should be a lone sheep. So he's just with these guys. But yeah, this is Diddy or the flying potato as we refer to him as on a regular basis. Or Tina Turner because the hair. Um, <laughs> he has a big pot belly on him at the minute. So he is switching with Macy and Rue and them with his partner Dolly who is over there. <laughs> so um, yeah, they are going back over to the other fields to have a little bit of a food fest. We'll still have food, but just not this much food. <laughs> so that is my updated Meet the Horses video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a long time coming. It's been carnage. <laughs> so if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, it makes me feel better, I guess. I don't know what else it does, but... <laughs> It gives me some self-worth. <laughs> uh, leave a comment below on um, who is your favourite. If you had to have one of them, who would you have? And any other videos that you guys would like to see. Minnie's doing that weird thing where they kind of slap with their body so you're like half falling off at the same time that you're sat. Yeah. But yeah, I will see you guys. I was going to say I'll see you very soon in the video, but who knows? Who honestly knows? Love you lads. Bye.